Hi guys, welcome back. So I've got another video for you today where we're going to be looking at creating this kind of UV light effect. You can see um, I have this kind of hidden message appear when we hover the uh, UV light div over. Okay, so I just saw this on a, a website and I was intrigued to see how they did it, but this is my own implementation. Um, I hope you get something out of it and yeah, let's get going. Cheers guys. Okay guys, so as always, the usual three files, index.html, style.css and app.js coming to our index.html file, uh, we'll just uh, do a boilerplate and then I just in the title say UV light, like so. And then if we go into the body, um, I'm just going to do a H1 and here we'll just give this a class of uh, header. And then um, I'm just gonna here say um, hidden message, like so. And then underneath this, we're just gonna have a div of a class of uh, underlay, like so. And then underneath this, we'll have a div of a class of overlay, like so. And then we're going to have a div of a class of UV light. This is going to be our main uh, light div. So we'll say div dot um, UV hyphen light. And then we'll link to our uh, script, our JS file. So we'll say script source app.js and then we'll also link to the uh, header uh, so we'll say link uh, link to the style.css in the header like so and let's just get a font okay so I want to kind of get like a, um, a writing font so we'll say google fonts um, and I think there's one called um, let's have a look actually um, let's just say properties just get a handwriting font for now so let's just go for this one here okay so if I select this style then we'll just get that link tag we'll put that in our header section of our HTML and then we'll also just get the CSS here as well so that's it for our HTML if we come into our CSS I'm just going to set the um, default uh, options here, we'll just say margin of zero, uh, padding zero, box size and a border box as always. And then I'm just going to say here, paste that um, font family. So if we open this in live server, you can see there's our text with hidden message. Um, yeah, so that's looking good so far. Okay, so next thing we wanna do, let's just make this a bit bigger so we can see. Um, I'm just going to next select the body, okay? So if you select body, um, and here we're going to say a height of 100 VH. And then, let's just close that down. We're going to say um, a width of 100%. Okay. And then underneath this, we'll say a position fixed. And then I'm also going to say here, we want to do a background image, okay? So we do background image. And here we're going to use the linear, the linear gradient function, okay? So we'll say linear gradient. And in here, I'm going to say to bottom, and then I'm going to say transparent, uh, 96%. And you'll see the effect of this after. And then I'm going to use this kind of purple color here, okay? So we'll say um, hex code 93700db. Uh, and as well, I'm going to say after this 96%, okay? And then kind of after this as well, we're going to, going to do a comma. And then we're going to use another linear gradient function here. So we'll say linear gradient again. And I'm going to say to right this time. And then here we're going to say we're going to give it a darker color, okay? So we'll say a darker purple. So say 1E0033. Uh, and then I'm going to say 96% here as well. And then after this, just what last one we're going to do um, is that light purple again. So we'll say hex code of 937, uh, zero dB like so, okay? And again, we're going to say 96%. So, now what I want to do here is I'm just going to say background size 
and here we're going to say 50 pixels i want to get it a nice square size for each of these um linear gradients okay so we'll just say 50 pixels all around 50 pixels and then we'll do 50 pixels and 50 pixels like so okay so you can see now we get that nice kind of square pattern okay that's what this linear gradient is doing let me just close that down a bit so you can see better um and then so after this, we've done our body section. Now we want us to do our underlay, okay? So if we go underneath here, we'll say dot underlay, like so. And then here, we're going to again say position fixed. And then I'm going to say top zero, left zero. I'm going to give this a Z index of a five for now. We'll just say five, just to bring it above the air body. And then we'll do a width of 100% and a height of 100 viewport heights like the uh, body. 100 viewport heights like so. And then kind of underneath this, we're going to say uh, background again. And here we're going to say radial gradient this time, okay? And what we're going to do here is we're going to say uh, 200 pixels and then 500 pixels and this will give us like a it's going to be a radial gradient of 200 by 500 length okay that's what we're saying there and here we want to say um, at and um, we're going to say var this is going to be a variable we're going to set with javascript x like so okay and then we're going to say 50 percent okay and then here we're just going to say transparent and here we're going to set set that to 0.1 percent and then we're going to use that uh, purple the dark purple again so we'll do the hex code after this and we'll just say uh, 1e0033 like so okay um, and then after this we're going to next select our overlay so you'll see this effect and I'll explain it shortly so we'll say next dot overlay and here we're going to say position fixed again. Just scroll down a bit. And then here, I'm just going to give this a Z index of 10. Like so. And next thing we want to do here is just say top of zero. Again, left of zero. And then again, we'll say height 100 viewport heights and a width of 100%. Okay, and then next thing we want to do here is I'm just going to get the same um, linear gradient we used above here. Okay, so we'll select this and then we'll copy and paste that in like so. And then next thing we want to do is also just um, get the background size as well. Okay. So the background size is the same, we're using 50 pixels by 50 pixels. And then I've just added another opacity here of 0 0.1, so it's slightly see-through, okay? Or it's very see-through for the overlay. Now, the next thing we need to do here is I'm just going to next select our um, H1 element. I think it was a H1, right? Yeah, H1. And here I'm just going to say position absolute. And then I'm going to position this left 50%, uh, top, say 40%, and then we'll say uh, transform, translate, minus 50%, minus 50% to get it uh, center of the screen, you can see here. And then we'll say, I'm going to give this a color. I want to give this kind of that UV light effect color. So we'll say kind of a turquoisey. So say hex code 91FEFF, like so. And then we're going to come underneath this and we'll say font size, make it a bit bigger of, we'll just give this a five rem. Like so, so it's quite big now. Just made that a bit smaller actually. Okay, and then I'm just going to, yeah, that's, that's it for our um, header. The next thing I want to do now is just do our UV light, okay? So we'll say uh, dot UV light. 
And here I'm just going to say uh, position absolute. We'll say top 5%. And then we'll say left. Just give it 100 pixels now for now. And then we'll say a width. I'm going to give this a width of only 30 pixels. And then we'll say height of 90% of the screen vertically. And then we'll say here a background, we'll give it a white background just to show that it's a light background color. Okay. And then we're going to say border radius. And I'm going to give it a 50% border radius. Just oh, maybe not 50%, that's a bit harsh. Maybe just 50 pixels, sorry. Um, there you go, like so. And then the next thing we want to do after this is say we're going to apply an animation, okay? Um, so I'm going to come under here. Actually, I'll do the animation now. We'll say animation. And it's just to give it that kind of a glowing light effect. And we'll say blink. And here we'll say three seconds, uh, infinite, okay? So it's continuous. It constantly loops the animation. And then we just uh, get this animation here. So we'll say at keyframes and we'll say blink. And then at 0% of the animation, we're going to apply a box shadow to this uh, div, okay? So we'll say box shadow. And the first one I do is say 0, 0, 30 pixels. And we'll just give that a white color like so. And then we'll, after this, we'll say zero, zero, um, zero, zero, and zero pixels. And here we're going to give that a white color again as well. And then we'll say zero, zero, and 10 pixels. And then again, the white color. And then we'll say zero, zero, and 30 pixels. And we're going to give that just a slight, uh, well, a blue color. So we'll do the hex code of eight, five, uh, B six F F like so, and then kind of after that, we're going to say uh, zero zero ten pixels, um, and we're going to just give this a blue color of eight five um, B six F F again that same blue color, and finally for this one we'll just say zero zero ten pixels, and we'll just give this that blue color again okay. Like so. Okay, so you can see we get that slice, uh, that blue glow there, like so. Okay, so I'm just going to apply this for, um, let me just copy this down actually. And let's just change that to 50% for the second one and 100% for the third one. And let's just uh, make this all zero at 50%. Okay, so we'll say zero, zero. Actually, we can just take this out, actually. We'll just say. Okay, you might want to make, you might want to adjust this, actually. Let's just do, um, let's make this, so for example, Here's what I made earlier. We'll just adjust the uh, adjust the uh, settings as you like, really. But um, I'm just going to make it. I've just dropped the um, the pixels down here. Okay, so three pixels, ten pixels. Um, just make or make it a bit bigger sometimes. So it just uh, you can see now we get this kind of nice glowy effect when we adjust our um, our box shadow setting. Okay, so that's looking more like a UV kind of light now. Okay, so that's pretty much it for our. Um, uh, uh, index.html and style.css. Let's now go to the JavaScript. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to say let, let pass for position equal document. And we're going to say get, uh, sorry, docu sorry document, document element. Okay. So if I just console log that, if we come to our console, you can see here that just gives us our kind of a uh, document, okay? So all of our HTML. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say pos, and what we can do here with this document element now is that we can access this variable we set. You remember we set this x variable here, okay? So what we're going to do is I'm just going to say actually we can do just to show you we can see pos dot style, 
Okay, so this will give us all the uh, the CSS stylings, and we'll be able to access um, this this X variable now that we created. Okay, so if you come into our JavaScript again, I'm just going to say here pos dot style. Okay, and I'm going to say dot set property, and we're going to say um, set that X variable we set, and then at the moment when we start, I'm just going to set this to zero pixels. Okay. And then, so now you can see, kind of get this effect. But what I want to do now as well, you just come underneath here. I'm just going to say document dot body. We're going to say dot add event listener. And here I'm going to say mouse move, like so. And then we're going to trigger a function, okay? And then this function, we're going to say. Um, pos dot style and then we're going to say dot set property again and then we want to change this x variable okay and then we want to set this to e dot client x and then we're going to say plus um, pixels like so okay and then if I just save that okay so you can see now we're kind of getting that UV light effect, but we still want our UV light to move with us. Okay, so in order to do that, we're going to say um, we also just need to set a UV light variable. So we're going to say let UV light, and that's going to equal document dot query selector, and then we're going to say dot UV hyphen light. Okay, and then now what we're going to do here is we're going to say UV light uh, dot style dot left, and that's going to equal, uh, just do back ticks here, and I'm going to say a template literal, we'll say E dot client X, uh, and we'll just do minus 15 pixels, okay, just to take out a view of the mouse, and I'll just say pixels after, okay. So now, It's not moving. Let's just see what's going on there. Okay, so we need to put a dot up here. Okay, so now you can see, if I make this a bit bigger, you can see now we get that cool kind of UV light effect when we move our uh, cursor across the screen. Okay, so that's pretty much it guys all we're kind of really doing here is we're just using this mouse move event to set this x variable property okay so this uh, x variable will always be at the position of our mouse element and in our css uh, we're using this kind of radial gradient okay and we set it transparent with a slight purple color but as it's transparent we can see the underlying text that goes through it and you can see this is this will be constantly changing no matter where, where we put our mouse on the screen Okay, so I hope you like this effect. I've seen it, um, on, I think it was like an Instagram post where I saw this effect. Uh, I just really wanted to know how to do it. So I just experimented with radial gradients. And yeah, this is what I come up with. But yeah, I hope you enjoy it and uh, see you next video. Thanks for watching.